Um, it's next up is Real IO, and they're from NTU working on physiotherapy, a pulley system with exercise tracking as well. So, uh, Team Real IO, please take it away. All right. Um, hold on, let me share my screen. Oh. Um. Okay, yeah. Okay, um, good afternoon all. I am Daryl. I'm Thierry. And together, we are proud to present to you our project which we've worked on for the, for the past 10 weeks, Relio. So let's begin with our problem statement. So immobile shoulders are a common issue faced by elderly patients and rehabilitation is tasks required for them to improve on their condition. However, for the exercise that they, they do to have in rehabilitation, some of the patients are unable to perform this exercise correctly and also consistently. And some of them are also, some of them do not have the sufficient strength to perform the current exercise, which does not have any uh, low impact alternatives. So we can take a look in the current exercise machine. So as you can see, it's a very passive type of um, machine where they use their own arm strength to lift the other arm, up, other arm up to improve the mobility. And also does not provide any tracking or feedback of the progress that they have made in um, doing the exercise. So this is where our relay comes in. As you can see, uh, this is a short clip on how relay works. Yeah, we'll see more on this later on in the video. So we have three main functionalities. Okay, but first, what exactly is relay? It is a cable-based power assistance fuel therapy device that targets the shoulder specifically, which has the three main functionalities as mentioned. First one being that of power assistance. So this power assistance is provided by the use of a motor, as can be seen um, in the picture, which is housed by the blue color bracket. So this power, this motor allows for patients who do not even have the strength to lift the hand up to still be able to carry out this um, shoulder mobility exercise, ensuring um, the availability of low impact plans for them. The next functionality is that of the tracking of the angle. So as you can see, uh, we've used a gyroscope that is attached to the hand to allow for the tracking of the angle of the hand, which allows for the consistent tracking of the angle of the patient, thus allowing them to ensure that they meet the requirements as specified by their physiotherapist. And lastly, there is the tracking of the progress, as can be seen in the LCD screen, which shows the speed at which they can carry out their exercise, and also the number of complete repetitions that they have completed during the whole exercise. So moving on. So moving on, um, our entire device consists of two systems. First is the electronic system, and the next one is the mechanical system. What you can see here is the electronics box, which houses all of the electronic subsystems. So a deep dive into the underside of the electronic subsystems, we use the perf boards shown here in green as they are more reliable and um, provides more permanent connections as compared to a breadboard. Smaller, breadboard, uh, smaller breakout boards uh, below in brown uh, allows for easy plug and play into the Arduino. Next would be an overview of the electronic system taken out of the uh, electronics box. You can see the various components ranging from the gyroscope at the very top to the LCD in the middle, as well as the uh, servo motor at the bottom. So the electronics uh, subsystem consists of uh, four subsystems. Um, the first one is the button subsystem. Um, so we had to plan the circuit layout in advance to ensure that all the components are able to be laid out properly. The next subsystem will be the LCD subsystem. You can notice um, our uh, I2C board that was manually soldered by us. This allows us to reduce the number of wires from 15 wires to four wires. Next would be the um, gyroscope subsystem. One of the problems we faced was a signal noise due to the long wires that we used. Therefore, filtering and moving average was done to remove this noise. And the last but most important subsystem would be the power as well as a motor subsystem. So um, the power comes from the 12 volts power adapter, which powers both the motor driver, buzzer, as well as the uh, servo, motor, and the rest of the components. So one of the pro uh, another problem that we faced was the um, motor driver overheating, and therefore that is why we use the fan as shown here. Next, I'll move on to the mechanical system. You can see the gear train on the left, as well as the electronics box on the right. 
One thing to note is that there are many custom 3D printed parts on this device. Uh, these parts are highlighted in yellow, while the rest are bought off the shelf. We designed this device with easy assembly and maintenance in mind. And uh, all of the parts that you can see here are all um, easily accessible and replaceable. Next, we move on to the specifics of the gear train. So uh, the gear train was necessary because um, due to our financial constraints, we could only purchase a motor that wasn't exactly that strong. So we used this gear train to uh, increase the power output for the motor so that you could lift the hand of uh, a typical person. And so these are the calculations that we did to, to design our gear train and eventually um, to come up with the expected uh, output for it to be able to lift uh, around 10 kg in weight. Yeah, so moving on, we can show our video. Hi, I'm Daryl. And I'm Tiehui. And together, we are Relio. In this Tech for Good festival, our aim was to improve the shoulder rehabilitation experience of the elderly. This is our journey. So what is the problem we are trying to tackle? Unable to properly fit. using it. Hi, I'm... So um, we hope that was a clearer, uh, that provides you with a clearer idea of how a device works. Uh, we have come to the end of our presentation. Uh, if you guys have any other questions, uh, please do fire away. Thank you. Wow, thank you. Thank you, Team Rio, Rio for that very interesting presentation. I think you have spent a lot of hard work on the engineering aspects of all of it. Uh, I think for myself more, the question would be um, like, oh, sorry, well, forgot my question, <laughs> sorry, uh, what was it? What, what is the main idea of the pulley? Is it to help people who cannot actually do these, these, um, the, these movements? Um, so yes, uh, we intend to, to use this uh, particular machine for for that whole spectrum of elderly that require um, this physiotherapy, ranging from those that um, can't even lift their hands up. Uh, I think you can see one, one like, example in the video. Um, definitely want to go to the video. So, so like, um, he, the elderly didn't have the sufficient strength to also like complete the exercise Hi, on his own because it's a very, um, the yeah. current machine is very passive. Mm -hmm. yeah, I think it's slightly further down. Yeah. So you can see he, he can't really lift his shoulder up. Mm -hmm. so, that's um, like one group of elderly that we're trying to cater to for those that uh, can't really even move the shoulder. So this one can help to at least like kickstart the rehab process. And then also uh, in the future to also allow for the varying of the amount of um, strength, amount of torque that the device can provide to, to like mm -hmm. provide less and less assistance as they get slowly like uh, rehabilitated and also like, like stronger in their shoulder. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So similar to like a, a, like a help, a helped uh, pull, pull up system, right? Mm, yes, correct. Yeah. Okay. I think we have a question from the floor today. Uh, have you tested it with any patients or physiotherapists to uh, see if it's effective with the original pulley system? Uh, and they're not often used in the physical community in Singapore. Can it be used at home or is and will it be cost effective? That's a lot. <laughs> okay. I'll uh, leave it to you. Thank you. <laughs> Um, so we've not managed to test it out um, because of um, firstly time constraints and also because um, we've not actually managed to bring it down to the center itself to test it out. Um, and I guess for the pulley systems question, this was 
like we got this information from our uh, our partner from AY daycare rehab center. So they mentioned that this is basically the system that they use right now for the, for the elderly that they are um that they are trying to rehab. So this is the passive system. So I'm not yeah. very sure whether like uh it's very commonly used in the physiotherapy community in Singapore. Mm. But um yeah, so we came up with this alternative to kind of uh, automate this system and also like uh, provide more assistance in it. So uh, we we do hope that it will be useful, but because we are not really from a medical background, so we are not sure exactly how effective it was. We just kind of um, built it off of uh, like the needs of our, right. our partner. Yeah, so um, regarding whether it can be used in the home setting, um, home setting, I, I guess you mean not the, the center, but like at home. Yeah. Um, I think she just means whether it's, it's cost effective enough for everyone to have one at home for their old, old people. Oh, okay. I, I don't think it... I think it, um, so, if um, we actually, can streamline it, yeah. So yeah can actually, it. Um, the actually um, our entire system, the prototype, uh, we spent uh, the full two hundred dollars, but the actual motto was only twenty six dollars, mm. and um, the Arduino is about five dollars. So right. actually, in total, if we can um, mass produce it, mm -hmm. we are looking yeah. at about. Hundred dollars, and this uh, this whole system provides um, power assistance, which um, in the existing market uh, does not exist right now. Right. Yes. And um, we also have very future potential to expand yeah. this to uh, mobile apps in general. Right. 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 As well as telemedicine. So yes, um, if, so yes, we think that it's cost effective and um, definitely the size right now because of the gear train is very big. But if we're able to um, increase our budget slightly to thirty or forty dollars for the motor, we will definitely be able to reduce the size substantially. Mm, awesome! I think this has great potential, honestly, and I hope that it it becomes a real product. Uh, yeah, thank you so much, Vilio. Uh, I think there's no more questions for, for you guys. And thank you so much for your very awesome presentation.